Take out your sketchbook and flip to a fresh page. Here are some other lessons that we've done this year. Ah, uh, here's my nice fresh page. Got it ready. And uh, you're going to want to take out your art supplies. And here is my art supply box. I'm going to get my pencil ready. And here's a little duck sticker. Okay, so I have my pencil and I want to show you. Um, first, don't draw this. I'm just showing you. This is what I always see kids draw for a tree. It looks like a um, piece of broccoli. So this is what I call a broccoli tree. We are not going to be drawing broccoli trees anymore. We are artists. We're going to do more realistic trees that look more like this one. And you might be thinking, Miss Rigby, that looks way too hard for me. How am I going to draw that? I will show you. Don't worry. You don't have to draw along at this part. This is just a preview. So check it out. We're going to... Uh, flip to the fresh page again and I have my pencil ready and I actually did this twice and I'm wearing a different shirt you can see oh so I did this twice but I want to show you you want to do your trunk and then your tree leaving a lot of space at the top of your page so going back and getting my pencil out again and showing you my duck sticker again you're going to start at the bottom of the page, making the trunk wider and curving in. So we're going to start by drawing the trunk. You want it to be wider on the bottom and you want to make sure the lines are very evenly spaced. So you can see I have a lot of space here at the top of my page. That's very important. You don't want your trunk to be too tall. So we're gonna make it come out on both sides. This might seem a little weird at first, like it's not how you're used to drawing a tree, but uh, just trust me, I've taught this a lot of times before. So I made the right line a little bit longer than the left one, and we're going to be drawing a copycat line next. A copycat line is a line that is right next to the original line that you drew. So you are going to do another copycat line on the other side so that all of our branches are double lines. And we're going to make this branch wider at the top. So the two lines are going to go out. It seems really strange at first when you do this, but once you add the second line, the copycat line, it starts to look more like a real tree branch. It might take a little practice. So. We're going to follow this and now we have three branches that come out of our main trunk. One, two, three. Ta-da! So we're going to go back to the original branch and make the lines come out. And we're going to add our copycat line there and another one there. So it kind of looks like a letter Y. A capital letter Y. We're going to branch out here and out here and we're going to add another copycat line at the end. Now as your branches get taller the rule is that they're going to get thinner and longer. So we're going to spread out this branch, add the copycat line, and it gives you a whole bunch of new branches to work with. One, two, three, four, five, six branches. Six. So we're going to be going to the end of each one of those branches and repeating the same process over and over again. Just making the copycat lines get a little bit closer to the original lines each time. Spreading out the branch and drawing the copycat line very close to it on the end of each one it might seem annoying and like you were like I don't want to do this it's kind of annoying don't worry you don't want to make any branches going down remember that don't worry it's going to look so cool you're gonna feel so proud of yourself this is a 
tree drawing, you're going to be able to show off to your family and they're going to say, wow, how did you do that? And you're going to be like, it was easy, but don't tell them the secret. Just be like, I just know how to draw trees now. No, I'm just kidding. You can tell them the secret and teach them because when you teach someone else, you remember more of it yourself. So go to the end of each line. Oh, this part I want to talk about when the branches start to touch, when they get really close to each other, you're going to do um, some overlapping, just like a tree in real life. Because when you look outside and see a real tree, the branches overlap. And if it gets close to the edge of the page, just draw it going right off the page. That's fine. There's no rule that says it has to stay on the page. So now we have a whole bunch of branches to work with and you're going to repeat the same process over and over and over and over until your tree goes tall and the branches get thinner and it fills up the whole top of the page. Here's a picture of a real tree for reference. You could see in that picture that the branches get thinner and taller and they do crisscross and overlap each other. So don't worry if your tree branches overlap, that's actually what we want to happen. So as your tree grows and you start to encounter the branches getting really close to each other, just draw right over your lines. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable, but trust me, this is what a real artist would do. And your tree is going to look so much better if it has branches that cross each other than if they were all spread out like a hand that was just counting to five. So keep drawing and adding to your tree crisscross and overlap your branches make them thinner and taller as you draw keep adding lines to the end of each branch until your tree fills the entire page remembering to get a little bit thinner and closer together on each one i'm going to throw in a time lapse video and show you how that process looks in fast motion next you're going to want to start to end your branches as they get closer to the top of the page and here's how you do it you just add a little point to the end of each one so instead of branching it out you actually just do the opposite and make it come to a little tip And last one, and ta-da! Look at my awesome tree. Now I have all this um, space in here. So you could add another branch, but I have some ideas. I'm gonna just make my tree a little bit fancier. You can color your tree and add some details around your picture, kind of make it your own. Here's what I decided to go with. Ta-da! Here's my tree drawing. Just adding my finalized details and voila! I'm really happy with the way this turned out. There's some super fun details and I decided to add a tree swing and a bird and a nest and some little spooky eyes looking out from the hole. I can't wait to see how your trees turn out. Bye!